Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, I've been letting you know about the new edge settings that are getting a major makeover with Web UR2. And Microsoft had also confirmed this, and I'll leave two previous videos, a link down below and in the end screen, if you would be interested. Now, in regards to Web UR2, in Edge Canary version 135, which is currently the latest preview version, there is a somewhat hidden tool, for want of a better word, that measures the performance of menus and apps that use WebUR2 because they load apparently faster than parts of the browser that use JavaScript. And it's not a default feature. And it has to be enabled using an experimental flag, which is called WebUR Web Vitals Performance Measurement Tool. So in Edge Canary, uh, just quickly on a side note, if we head to our experimental flags page and we just type in Vitals, just in case you are experimenting in this early preview version. There's the flag, the description reads, enables the Web Vitals performance measurement tool for WebUR2 apps. I've already enabled it. And what you're going to see now with this little tool enabled is an FCP value that appears at the bottom of these menus. And if you click on it, it opens a table with various performance metrics. So just a quick recap what a FCP value is, just in case you are wondering what's going on. FCP stands for First Continent Full Paint and is a metric that measures how long it takes for a user to see part of a web page for the first time. Now, this is talking about web pages, but the same applies. Now, a good FCP is 1.8 seconds or less, and a poor FCP is more than 3 seconds. But here we are dealing with menus and settings, so that doesn't really apply, but that's just to give you a kind of a brief overview as to what FCP is all about. And if we head to menus and elements of the browser that already are using WebUR2, we can see this opened in 132 milliseconds. Another one would be your history menu, 144 milliseconds. So these are quite fast for a FCP value. And you'll notice that menus that use WebUR2 don't have the acrylic effect. So if we click on the extensions, you can see that's acrylic. And um, that is giving you a transparency. If we click on favorites, we can see that's almost a solid kind of dark gray, black for want of a better word. The same applies with um, the history menu. So those are your menus, just to mention one or two that are using WebUR2 already. And then, of course, if we head into the settings, this is fully now WebUR2, where, as Microsoft says, it should be increasing, and Microsoft Edge could be getting significantly faster with WebUR2 to challenge Chrome, because obviously Microsoft now is trying to play catch-up in regards to performance with Google Chrome. And if we have a look at the, the actual FCP value here in the bottom right of the settings, I hope you can see that um, in the video. The settings opened in 372 milliseconds. If I click on that, my web vital. So time to first part, 35.70. Time to last part, 121.30. So these are milliseconds. First paint, 256. First continent full paint, that's FCP value, 372, which it said at the bottom right-hand corner of the settings. And last continent full paint, 540 milliseconds. So um, I don't think this is something that would roll out to the stable version. Um, I don't see what this would bring as a benefit to a day-to-day -day usage in a stable version of Microsoft Edge. But I think for the Canary version, it brings a nice touch um, because obviously a lot of these features are, are experimental features. So just being able to see in its test phase how long a WebUR2 menu takes to open, I think may, may be a nice touch when it comes to experimental features. So I just wanted to share this with you. I don't think this will make too much difference to everybody's day-to-day. 
um, especially if you are not testing features in preview versions. But I think if and when the WebUR2 starts making its way into stable, the difference you will see is that things are slightly faster. Now, I think it's going to make its way to stale because the WebUR2, the new settings makeover, as I've mentioned previously, is already in the dev channel. So we've got to go then to beta, then stable. So I think there's a very good chance that this new settings layout and makeover with WebUR2 will make it to stable. Um, I found it very nice to use in the Canary version. I think things are very responsive and you know the, the the layout is a lot more compact and less cluttered and it just gives you a kind of a more clutter free approach and and that's the latest now in canary so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one